Saturday. Roger, it's Saturday. I love Saturday. I can do anything I want. I can play a Captain Squash game. Well, I could play my Captain Squash game if I wanted to. Or I could walk down the hall fast and slow. And then fast again. But I just did that. Wait. I know what I can do. Bobby! Don't you even think of coming in here! Don't? You know what that means. Kids gotta do what a kid's told don't do. I mean it. Like, do not come in here. I can do what I want to do because it's Saturday. I'm not kidding, Bobby. You take one step into this room and, and it's war. War? S Sergeant Captain Squash, I have a message from our enemy, Kelly the Hun. According to this, Kelly the Hun has forbidden us to enter No Man's Land. No Man's Land? Like, you can't come in here. You can't come in here. I'd like to lead the charge, sir. Very good, Private Doughboy Bobby. You dare come in here. Excuse me, I would like a little privacy, okay? I am writing in my diary. Ew. Ha ha, don't be cruel. My teddy bear in the blue. Mom! Mom! Uh, 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 rain it in now. Careful, Bobby. I'm cleaning all this old Christmas stuff out of the stair closet, don't you know? Mom? Well, for find it when you don't need it, sakes alive. Have a look, see, it's my favorite elf ornament. Oh, I call him Ernest. Oh, isn't he just the gee golly cutest is all. Mom, Mom, I think Kelly's sick. She's got diary. <laughs> oh, Bobby, Kelly doesn't have diarrhea. She has a diary. That's a little book where people write down all the things they do. All the things people do? Like, like what elves do on their day off? When it's not Christmas? Mom, do you know what elves do on their days off? Well, my thinking cap's on, but n no, no, I don't. Have you ever read Kelly's diary? Oh, no ski on that one, Bobby. Mom's never read Kelly's diary. That's why she doesn't know. That's it, Roger. To find out what elves do on their day off, all I have to do is look in Kelly's diary. my diary. There, safe from prying eyes. Got it! Now I'll find out what I was doing your day off. Now I've got the key to Kelly's diary. I can find out what elves do on their day off when it's not Christmas. I bet it's something real cool. Winston, remember how you always ask me if you can be my best friend and I say no? Uh -huh, Ernie? And you constantly badger me about why you don't have any friends? This is why. Wow, oh, I see. Okay, it's clear now. Just because I mistook a candle for a stick of dynamite, and just because we're hurtling back towards Earth at terminal velocity about 32 billion miles an hour, and just because it's going to take three weeks to dig us out of this dirt, you're going to let little details like that come between us? <laughs> well, I think that's just a little unfair. I just want to, what am I want? Just a reindeer? Oh, I'm definitely a reindeer. I've done it. I've put an end to that do-gooder elf Ernest. Ha! Imagine anyone stupid enough to devote their life to spreading joy throughout the world. Well, what have we here? A young lady rushing to the bank to make a deposit before it closes. 
If she's late, they'll foreclose on her house. She'll be thrown in the street along with her family and her little dog, too. Oh, too bad. She's about to encounter a faulty traffic light. Tisk, tisk. I guess she'll never make it to the bank in time. Well, that was fun. Such a pity that she'll never know that I'm the one who puts the bad in everyone's bad luck. <laughs> I know you won't believe this, but the other reindeer think I talk too much. But I was just thinking they're jealous. What do you think? Wilson, there's a rather fun story about right now. <laughs> Tinsel. That was painful. One of the benefits of being an elf. <gasps> One of the benefits of being an elf's best friend. <laughs> I am your best friend, aren't I? Blitzen? Huh? Aren't I? Aren't I? <laughs> ah, I, I was talking too much again, right? Right. Boy, did that clear my sinuses! Ah! That ridiculous elf has spoiled me again. All right, this time I will use my evil ray to eliminate him and his anthropomorphic reindeer buddy for once and for all. Ray, come in here. I need you. Ray, get in here! What are you just standing there for? You didn't say Nyleptus says. Yes, it would be fun to stay here and listen to Nia Liptus berate Evil Ray and hatch his next wicked plot. But it would be even more fun to find out what's going on with our intrepid heroes. As you remember from last week's episode, Ernest and Blitzen are on their way to keep an appointment with their employment counselor, who is waiting for them at their new job. Listen, look, there's a meter that still has time on it. Oh, boy, that's great. A parky meter with time on it. How often does that happen? Chances of that. <laughs> this is a lucky day, Blitzen. I have a feeling that everything, including our new job, is going to go just perfectly. Why are Ernest and Blitzen looking for a job, you may ask? Boy, you ask a lot of questions. Well, elves only work one day a year. The rest of the time, they need to find other employment. Didn't I tell you, Blitzen? It's a perfect day. Hi, Ernest. This temp job came in last week, and even though you managed to botch up the last 10, 20, 30 jobs I sent you on, I saved it for you because, you know, I have a very special place in my heart for you. Is there anything you want to say to me? Oh, Doctor, I can't breathe. Yeah, yeah, enough of this love fest. Can we get started on a new job? I feel much more fulfilled when I'm working. I guess I need work to sort of define me as an individual. What about you, Ernest? Huh? Don't you think you need to be defined by your work? Or in this case, your lack of work? <laughs> Why do they always come for my antlers? Couldn't I just yank on my tail once in a while? We and now it's time for the lovely Bonnie, the employment lady, to show Ernest and Blitzen around their new place of employment. Do you mind? Oh, uh, sorry. Ernest, come inside. I want you to meet the owner of Lorraine's Hurry and Eat. Wow, a fast food restaurant. Sounds like my kind of job, because, darn it, people really like me. I hate Ernest. I hate him. Because he is against everything I enjoy, like taking the bubbles out of bubble gum. I am a dope. I am a dope. Yes, the kids who buy this stuff can chew it till their little faces fall off, but they'll never be able to blow a bubble with it. <laughs> it was because of that insufferable elf Ernest that I vowed to use I all my genius. Dope. But what good? And it's spelled D O P E. Oh, I was down with the gremlins taking freshness dates off of milk cartons yesterday, and they said you started as an elf. Shut up! I like two single, double, triple burgers and hold the legs! Yes, sir, coming right up. Not only am I gonna give you a freshly made piping hot single, double, triple burger, but I'm gonna throw in extra mayo, a quart of homemade ketchup, 
And I'm gonna put a nice beet cherry on top. Sure, like the reindeer did it. I've got nothing better to do. I'm just a sidekick, that's my job. I step back and forth. Here, try this. Ernest's heart was in the right place, but unfortunately, it turned out that the customer was violently allergic to cherries. See, Blitzen, it's wonderful to see someone just burst with joy like that. Yes, after having been on the job a mere 15 minutes, Ernest, in his all-consuming quest to bring joy to the world, has driven dozens of customers away by substituting low-fat yogurt for real ice cream in the Super Shake, reporting the cook to the health department because her hairnet fell in a French fryer and mistakenly locking several customers in the washroom when he accidentally painted the door shut. Now, Ray, fire! Boy, Blitzen, this is the best job ever. Don't you think so? I can't hear you, Blitzen. Oh, it must be because this piece of trash is in the way. Let me dispose of it in a proper receptacle. Luckily, Ernest has succeeded in driving away all the customers. And why, you ask, is that lucky? Well, boy, Ernest messed up big time. Yes, it looks like he's out of another job. Gone. History. Dead meat. Great. I can hear you just fine now. Ernest! Ernest! The owner loves you! Like I was saying, a genius, a boy wonder, wonder elf. He was going to fire you, but with the restaurant completely destroyed, a mall developer has bought the land for a lot of money. This is the first job I've ever gotten you that you weren't fired from. I could just kiss you, but then I might get warts. That's a toad. I'm an elf. Right. <laughs> Oh, Ernest, look at this. What are the chances? The clown's still standing. Oh, Tinsel, I bet I could fix this with stuff from my magic pouch. All I need is some gum I chewed already, a piece of burnt hamburger, and this fuzzy green thing. This guy is a skilled toy maker. One of Santa's best. I've seen him make an entire jungle gym out of a cyclone fence and a couple of disco records. There. I'll turn it on. Hello and welcome to... Uh, boss, I was wondering, do you want to know where I hid the spare rocket? Would it be in the clown? Bingo! You got it right in the first try. Wow, that's why you're the boss. Wait! Will Nihiliptus and his evil rays survive to stop Ernest in his quest to spread joy to the world? Will Ernest be awarded the key to the city? Will Blitzen ever shut his reindeer mouth? And most importantly, will I ever get a shot at making the big bucks hosting the Miss Teen USA pageant? Yes, yeah, thanks to you, Ernest. Our city will now have the world's biggest mall, complete with a roller coaster, water slides, three video arcades, and plenty of washrooms without locks. Therefore, as the mayor, I am very proud to present you with this key to the city. Thank you. Give me that key, mister. Uh-oh, am I in trouble? You heard me, Bobby. Give me the key to my diary! Oh, Kelly, I want to know about elves. And uh, what elves do on their day off? Ow! This is too easy, Dweeb. You're supposed to dodge the ball. That's why they call it dodgeball. Get with the program. Oh, uh, I was just thinking about how Kelly won't let me have her diary, and it has stuff in it that I need to know. Hey, Dweeb. You know what they say, little knowledge is a dangerous thing. Then why do they send us to school? Heck if I know, but that's what they say. Sisters, they're always giving us brothers grief. 
Kelly won't give you her diary. Trade her something for it. That's what I'd do. Good idea. Thanks, Derek. Ow! You're supposed to dodge it. I'll give you Captain Squash doll. <sighs> Just a sec, Tiffany. Big news. My little brother's being a pest. No deal. My Captain Squash doll and my teddy bear? No way. Okay. My Captain Squash doll, the teddy bear, and my new lunchbox. Next up is item number 23, my diary. This diary contains information that may be of interest to many people. I hear it has everything you want to know about elves in it. Really? <laughs> I hear it contains the secret of the Fountain of Youth. Really? Like, who will give me an opening bid? It doesn't fun. My vacation home in the Alps. A date with Brad Pitt. <laughs> oh, a date with Brad Pitt. Going once, going oh. twice, going... Oh, oh, I'll give you everything I got. Everything? OK, let me see everything you've got. What in that gee golly world is wrong? I forgot. I don't know how to read. Oh, oh, here now, hon. That's okay. You'll learn how to read. Then you read it to me, Mom. Oh, Bobby. A diary contains stuff that Kelly wants to keep a secret, don't you know? She does? Why? Well, it's nothing that would hurt anyone else. Well, golly, everybody in the whole family has secrets. They do? I wonder what the other family secrets are. Yeah. Wow, the generic family secrets. Come on, Bobby. I'll tell you my family secret. The king's alive and he's in the building. Oh, oh, thank you. Thank you very much. Holy moly. I wonder what that secret is. Bobby, don't touch. This is Kelly's diary. Kelly! Kelly! Guy, what's with Bobby? Well, for corn's sakes, Kelly, give Bobby back his toys. You know he can't read. Gosh, golly, for causing a ruckus. <sighs> okay. I was just trying to get him out of my room. Now, Mr. Manzi, some people's stuff is private, and for their eyes only, don't you know? Let this be a lesson to you, young man. Okay. Hey, Derek! What's in the box? I'm not telling Dweeb, it's a secret. I gotta know! I'll, I'll give you Webley. No deal. About Webley and my Captain Squash Game Master! No! That's what's great about being a kid. You don't have to learn your lesson. Because the minute you do, then you're a grown-up. Mom! Mom! Well, that's my show for today. Hope you liked it. And tell your friends to watch. Don't keep it a secret. <laughs> Bobby, what are you doing? Saying goodbye. Well, are you still wearing my pants? No, Roger is. <laughs> okay, okay, oh, so, so say goodbye, Bobby. Bye. Hey, Bobby. Bobby, is that it? Can I come out now, Bobby? Is the show over? Bobby? Bobby?